Welcome back to my channel. My name is Monet, aka Miss Creative Diva. If you are new here, welcome back. A welcome and welcome back to my old subscribers. As well, if y'all not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and share it. So today, you guys, we are going to be working with West Kiss Hair. I will put their information down below. I'm going to show you guys this 13 by 6 unit. Um, I did go ahead and bleach the knots. Um, I customized it. I know a lot of you guys have some questions in regarding my customization. So I'm going to work on getting a video up. I do this process for all my units. So let me know down below if you guys want a more detailed customization video. Like, I actually didn't even add no lip, but I'm going to add that later. Um, so yeah, so I did go ahead and pluck my unit. I prepped my unit as far as tinting my lace and bleaching my knots. And I did also add the band on the... On the um, I did add the band in the inside as well. But that is how it looks. Yeah, this side. So yeah, I was actually thinking about wearing it in an updo like a, but I may do that another day with this unit. So we're gonna just go ahead and flat iron her. I am gonna wear her straight. So I'm thinking like a side part, just real sleek. I feel like the way I pluck this, she has to go up. Like, yeah, she has to, like I need a ponytail. So I think this is gonna be the perfect unit um, that can go either way, where, whether you're wearing an updo, side part, whatever. Um, but that, I just wanted to really quickly show you guys how the pluck looks so that way you guys can see the lace. Um, and I also did tint my own lace. If you guys are interested, y'all about my complexion, I can recommend some tints for you guys. So I'm gonna really quickly go ahead and cut this and I'll be right back. my um hairline where and I, I try not to put makeup on my forehead because for me that's where i wear my wigs um and i have a big forehead so i push my hairline back so that way i'm able to make it look as realistic as possible because i don't like it to sit like on my forehead where it makes it look real small and and just wiggy so, and then today we are going to be trying a different hairspray. Um, I'm going to be using the Eben, I hope I'm saying that right, the Eben Wonder Lace Bond. So we're going to see, it says fast drying, no residue build up, 10 times for the lace, well 10 times hold for the lace. So I'm going to spray it and then I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it and then I'm going to do a voiceover for everything else just because I'm in a rush to get ready. Alright you guys, so we are going to start by applying it. I've already cleaned off my forehead with the alcohol just to give myself a clean surface. Um, and I am using, I've already sprayed the Even Spray, Even Spray. I don't know the correct way to say it, but I have been seeing a lot of people when they do use this spray, use a blow dryer. So I am going to try this method um, and see how I like it. Um, you're supposed to apply a layer, wait till it gets tacky, or you can blow dry it, um, or just allow it to sit. Um, so I did that about two times, and then I'm just going to go ahead and press that lace into my skin. Um, and then my ear tabs is always my struggle area because they are just hairy. Um, so I do shave my face and shave my sideburns um, anyway when, when I cut my hair. Um, and I feel like this helps. Now, normally I do use my other spray. Um, if you watch my past videos, you guys know that I love the hard head. Um, from Bet, I think it's from Betty or TGI. I have to think. I, I don't know, you guys, right off the back. But today we're gonna use this. Y'all see that thing came right back up. And so after I've experienced this gluten, now I kind of have a different perspective. Um, but yeah, it 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 did what needed to be done. Um, so we are going to go ahead and just keep adding the spray where I feel like it needs it. 
Um, and I did notice with the frontal, um, as far as the lace, I kind of left a little bit more than what I normally leave. So I am going to go back in and cut some of that lace off. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my edges as far as where I want my, um, you know, like my edges to be. Um, I did have to cut this wig um, as far as cut the frontal because it was really, really large. Like, I don't know what's going on, but these companies is giving us bigger frontals. It's not necessarily a bad thing if you have a large head, but for someone like me who doesn't have any hair, I need a small. <laughs> Um, so I did have to customize this frontal a little bit, but overall, you guys, it looked really amazing. So we are going to style this unit. I'm adding my wax stick. And as you can see, it does not take that much to get this hair pressed out and straight. Um, I did do a little bit of straightening while I was plucking the wig because I wanted to see um, how the hair would lay. That is like super important to me. Um, so if you guys are new to wigs, this is the reason why I pluck my units is to make sure that it looks as natural as possible because you do want it to grow or look like it's growing out of your scalp. Like that's the ultimate goal. Like if you're wearing wigs, you definitely do not want it to be wiggy. And it took me a long time to learn, learn this. Like I've been on YouTube for oh a decade, you guys, and just starting to master the way that I like my lace to be and my frontals to be. Um, I did decide on a side part. Um, I know I did a side part in my last video, but I really was feeling some straight hair. So I'm going to take my flat iron. It's not going to take me that long. I love a bigger flat arm because it just gets to all the hair that needs to get to. Um, now with this hair though, I will say um, that I did have to um, add some heating protectant as well as like a serum just to kind of help so the hair does not frizz up. I feel like I don't care for this glue like that, but we're gonna. All right, you guys, so I am working on creating my baby hairs. Uh, I felt like for this look, and just me personally, I just really like um, a more longer one just because it just covers what needs to be covered um and i feel like baby hairs is based off of you um the shape of your face and all the above all right so my next process in laying my wig is taking time to do my baby hairs i feel like this does not take me no longer than i would say maybe 10 to 15 minutes but i always notice that i come back like the next day or so 
and still customize from either more baby hairs or less. Um, that is the reason why I try not to like cut too much because I do want to be able to switch my units around whether I want to wear it in a ponytail or whether or not I want to um, just wear it how I'm wearing it. Um, and so I'm just running my comb through it just to get it as straight as possible. Um, with this hair, um, I noticed that I did, was getting like some frizz. So I did try to add a little bit more serum um, to the hair just to help with that. All right, you guys, and I'm adding the finishing touches. I'm going to talk a little bit about the hair before this video ends. And you guys, I just wanted to kind of step back so you guys can see the length because it states that this unit is 22 inches, but I swear, I kid you not, like it's giving me every bit, every bit of like 28, like 28 because it's sitting near my waist. It's at the top of my butt. Y'all know how I feel about some good, good old long hair. And I will say for a longer unit, as far as the thickness and the fullness, it is full from the top to the bottom. Um, it is not like thin. Um, it's giving me definitely a good 180. So I do want to play around with this wig and try to rock it in like a half up, half down. So I'll probably do that in like a get ready with me or something like that. But y'all, this is the look. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Um, would you rock this unit? Is it giving scalp? Because it's definitely giving clear lace for me. I'm not sure how I feel about this glue yet. We're going to have to do it again. But I'll definitely put everything down below for you guys. All right, you guys. So I am back. I just wanted you to see the finished look. Now, I have been out for a few hours. Um, and I actually got back in. So I did kind of reflat on the hair. I, am, I do feel like I'm going to have to go back in and take some heat protection because it was a hot day today well no, i wouldn't even say hot it was warmer than what it has been and so i am noticing that this hair has a little bit of frizz like in this area like kind of right here um and then also it's just some beards um which is kind of like some loose hairs and stuff like that so i'm gonna actually go in um and just kind of really get it straight because i feel like with this hair I am going to keep it straight, but I do want to try the ponytail method um, also. So y'all probably see that on another another day. Yeah, I really think this would be really pretty, but this is how the hairline looks, you guys. Um, I will say off of this spray right here, um, I don't know if I'm a fan because I see that it's leaving like some type of shininess right here, and I'm just not here for it. So I'll try it one more time. Now I will say though, the hold is amazing. Um, but the, that shiny, that, that shininess I can't do. So I may end up having to mix it with my spray because this is just what I like. Um, and this is just kind of what works for me. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Maybe I should have did it and not used the um, blow dryer. Um, I'm not sure. So I guess next time when I try it again, I, I won't use the blow dryer and see if that works better for me and then wrap my band around it. Um, but ultimately, the hair is like super, super soft, you guys. Um, Y'all saw me. I was able to take my flat iron and just flat iron through the hair. Um, didn't have any issues. The hair that does not shed um, yet. Um, I haven't had any shedding other than when I was cutting the hair. Uh, I will say though, one thing about the cap is that the cap is super generous. So the cap is too big for my head. Um, I am going to, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I am going to have to tighten it and I do have a band in it as well. Um, that is the only like thing that I just have to kind of nitpick on. Um, I feel like the frizziness, I'm going to kind of tame that with some heating spray, um, some heat protectant and stuff like that. And then some serum right here and it's flaking. So I believe it's that even, Evan. But it's okay. We're going to give it one more chance. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this hair. Um, would you guys rock this style? I'm feeling this sleek, long, straight hair. I think Baby Eva likes it, which I'm super shocked because it's long. Um, I believe the length is a 22, but it's definitely giving me 26, 28. So I'm not really sure why. If I have that messed up, I'll put that down below for you guys. But it's really long. Like it goes, with me sitting down, it goes like to the top of my butt. So I will say it, at the top, it is shorter. So it has like a layer. And I didn't cut no layers in it because I just wanted to leave this hair long just in case I want to switch it up.
guys before I get to rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you have not for the next video. I'll leave all the links down below. Check them out. I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Later.